Okay, now let's look at a worked example of how two users can collaborate in a project using Subversion and how they can resolve editing conflicts. At first we start with SVN admin create to create a repository in our home directory which we shall call example SVN repo and then we create a working directory by you doing an SVN checkout and now I have to uh, specify the URL and dollar home example SVN repo and WD1 shall be the name of our home directory. If we go into this home directory and have a look around, we can see uh, the working directory is an empty directory. So uh, revision zero, a freshly uh, created repository contains as its initial re uh, revision, just an empty directory. And in the working directory, uh, there is a .svn subdirectory. And if we type svn info, for example, uh, we can see some metadata. For example, we can see here the, uh, the location of the repository. So now let's populate this. Um, we haven't anything queued up to be added to the repository. So let's create a file, for example, hello, oops, hello world shall be file one. If I now ask for the status, subversion tells me, yes, there is file one, but it's unversion, subversion doesn't know anything about it. So we do SVN add file one. We've now earmarked file one for adding, but it's not yet in the repository. In order to get it there, we need to make our first commit, SVN commit. And we specify a commit message to make sure no editor window will pop up. Adding my first file. And we have created revision one. So if we now look at SVN status, uh, we are up to date. All the changes we have made are now in the repository. So we now look at uh, user two. And because I want to flip forwards and backwards a few times between user one and user two, I start up another little uh, Unix tool called screen. Uh, which is quite useful if you want to have several terminal sessions simultaneously offered via a single terminal. Um, I'm now in terminal number zero, but with where I can, for example, go into, um, or I can, I can create, I'm in the root directory here, I can create with control AC a new session. Uh, and there I go into working directory one and another control A C creates a new session. There I uh, go into working directory two, where, which I have to create first, SVN uh, check out file dollar home example SVN repo WD two So this is now working directory two and with control A one I can jump back to working directory one. And in working directory two we can now make a modification to this file. The 
file currently contains hello world, but actually we don't want to greet the entire world. We want to be more specific. So um, echo hello dogs. SVN diff. We have now prepared a modification that replaces the world, the word world with dogs. But we still want to think about it a bit whether that's really what we want. So in the meantime, we go back to user one. Who still has the original version and has similar ideas. Uh, wants to change the text, but wants to change it into, uh, let's say, hello, humans. In addition, uh, user one also wants to add a second file, blah file two. So we have modified one file. We haven't added file two yet. That's why there's a question mark here. So we add file two. Oops. File two. SVN status. Now we have uh, two changes queued up and we commit those. SVN commit minus um, changed into humans. And now this has gone through the, to the repository. So there are no further changes queued up here. If we now go back to uh, user two, um, they also now want to commit their changes. They finally decided that's okay. So we do SVN commit minus M and we change world into dogs. That's just our commit comment message. And we get an error message. The error message tells us file one is out of date. Someone else has already done some work on file one in the meantime, uh, because we started from revision one, but user one has already created revision two. So before we can uh, make our change, commit our change back, we have to make sure that it is based on revision two, not based on revision one as its base version. So to do this, we need to merge the most recent version into our working directory. We do this by SVN update. And it tells us that it has successfully added file two. There was no problem. But in file one, there is a versioning conflict. And it was unable to resolve that conflict on its own. And that's because both users want to change the first, the, the same line. One wants to change hello world into hello dogs. The other wants to change it into hello humans. So we will have to manually sort this out. So rather than using any of the other options offered here, we postpone the resolution of that. And we first have a look at what our working directory looks like. And file one has now exploded into four different files. There is the file I was working on um, is called file1.mine. There is the version from which we both started that is uh, file1.revision1, but there's also the newer version that the other side has produced, uh, file1.r2. And all these changes together are indicated as comments inside file1, which is the file that Subversion tried to merge but didn't fully succeed. So let's have a look inside. And similarly, it shows this is my version. This was the original start version. This is the other party's version. 
So it's now quite obvious we can accommodate everyone's wishes by saying hello dogs and humans. And we can remove all the other annotation. And we're done. We have resolved the conflict. However, Subversion still doesn't know that we've resolved the conflict. The file is still indicated as conflicted here. And there are still these other files around. So we use the svn resolved file one command. And now um, we have resolved the change. The other files have been removed. They are no longer necessary for us. And if we look at svn diff, then we can see here that the other side's version, hello humans, is now going to be replaced with hello dogs and humans, which contains everything. So we finally send this as the canine extension back to the repository. We go back to oops. We go back to the working directory of user one where we now can do an SVN update and we get the latest revision uh, three which we can have a look at. Um, file one, it says hello dogs and humans, but we can also do an SVN log. And we can see um, there are three versions, adding my first file, world change to humans, and then the canine extension. And we can ask SVN diff what change happened in version three alone. Hello humans was changed into hello dogs and humans. And we can even ask svn log minus minus diff to show us all the changes in all the versions and preferably in color. And here we can see what we changed when we added the first file and then world was changed into humans and so on. So this is very useful to catch up with what other people have been doing to your software in your project.